My name is Reda Mesaudi. I grew up in the streets of Agadir, Morocco. I like it here. It's my home. After my first karate combat win in Athens, rumors spread that I won a ton of money. One night, a group of guys that heard of this rumor, they attacked me. Some had knives and uh, I disarmed, they run. It's like every day here, you know, you have to be ready for trouble. Being trained in martial arts definitely helps in situations like that. I started karate at age of three. My mother and my father both did karate and had their own dojo. We were a very close family, a very tough family. My physical strength comes from my legs. As a teenager, I used to break dance with my brother in the street. Karate gives me an incredible control with compete with other crews and just destroy them all. Morocco is a very cool place. Most of the time I like to go to train in the desert and I try to put myself in an uncomfortable situation and train in the heat, being in hot sand, bring something extra out of me that has shown when I'm in the pit. If my preparation is good, I have nothing to fear. In the gym, I spare and work on my heavy heat. Out here, I work on endurance, focus and balance and maybe have a little bit of fun. I don't invite opponent that faces me because they won't be ready for the strength in my legs and the endurance that I have. Whether he goes left or he goes right, I never let him control me. Whoever is in that pit, I own, I control. Once I strike, it's all over. Todos los días me levanto a las 5 de la mañana con una sonrisa porque la música la llevo en mi corazón. He trabajado duro por todo lo que tengo. Pero siempre he sabido cuál es mi camino. Nosotros los dominicanos nos caracterizamos por ser extrovertido, alegre. Siempre le sacamos el lado positivo a las cosas. Mi esposa es campeona panamericana de karate. Es mi entrenadora ahora. Trabajamos muy bien, muy chévere juntos. Yo respeto muchísimo su metodología. No deje que el amor te confunda. Ella es muy dura, pero yo puedo manejarlo. A los 17 años entré a la marina. Tengo dos décadas sirviendo orgullosamente en mi institución. Soy el único marino que ha ganado dos medallas de oro en Juegos Panamericanos. En el mundo de Karate Combat, me llaman el capitán. Es gracioso porque hace poco me ascendieron a mayor, pero aquí sigo siendo el capitán. Siempre estoy listo para pelear, ya sea en la guerra o en el pit. El alma de un peleador son sus guantes, su creatividad, usar todos los recursos que estén a su alrededor. Al nunca tener excusa para no estar listo, De eso aprendí a ser victorioso. Siempre he dicho pegar y que no te peguen. He peleado con los mejores. Peleé con Rafael Agallef, el mejor de todos los tiempos. Me pegó varias veces, pero yo no caí. Él dijo que no podía pegarme más fuerte sin romperse sus manos. Nunca me he noqueado. Soy noqueable, tal vez porque soy cabezadura. En mi carrera de Karate Combat, yo he ganado y ganado. Ahora voy por el cinturón dorado. Este hombre dirige con dignidad. Este hombre nunca se rinde. Por eso me llaman el capitán. Y el capitán va por ti. We are back, Andras Viraj bass his second big KO in a row with that overhand right. Wow, right? A conscious lucky punch is what he called it. But you know what? My old karate coach, he would say, were you aiming for his head? And if you say yes, he says, that is not a lucky punch. So it is a regular punch, <laughs> knocked him out. Well, moving straight on to our next bout, Raider Masudi and Denisio Gustavo and Bas Raider 
Uh, not doing too well in his last fight against Quay Hagen. A broken nose in that fight and is really looking to rebuild here. Yeah, you know what? Masoudi is an unbelievable fast fighter. His nickname, the Cobra, well, you're going to see why he has that nickname. His spinning back kicks, I mean, there's guys who weigh 10 kilo less than him who cannot have that speed. He's really remarkable. So I hope he's going to show it tonight so that other people can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, he's going to need some toughness to come back from that one. But we talk about toughness, dedication and resilience. Really, you've got to think about Deniso Gustavo pass shot in the leg at 19 years old thought his karate career was over when he was a kid he used to have to run six miles back and forth just to train that kind of dedication that really builds something in you doesn't it it does you know and that's why he became a karate kind that's the all around the respect and that's why he went to the army as well you know this guy yeah we already said it he's tenacious he's everything but his reflexes are off the chart it's almost when you see this guy fight it's like he knows what's going to come that's how fast he is Exciting fight coming your way, Raider Masudi taking on Denisio Gustavo. Get tired of seeing the fighters come through in that portal. Fighters, go to your corners. Ooh, what a rush. Red corner for Denisio Gustavo. Blue corner for the Cobra Raider Masudi. Yeah, the Cobra versus the Major. La Cobra versus El Mahon. Ah. In the red corner, Dionisio Gustavo, El Captain from Dominican Republic. And there we see Denisio Gustavo. All even on the reach for this one. Good record of two and one coming to this one, and you can see he is absolutely ripped. In the blue corner, Red Ambassadori, the Cobra from Morocco. One and one record for the Cobra, Raider Masudi. Slightly taller than his opponent, but as we said, all the reaches are even in this one. Fighters, enter the pit. Right. And our referee on, is going to get us underway. Three minutes on the clock. No touch of gloves. Here we go. Gustavo <laughs> switching, switching stance. stances around. Open stance. We got about inside kicks now. Ooh, setting up a left high kick, and now we switch to orthodox. Gustavo measuring with that lead hand. Nice sharp jab. Oh, nice. He lifted his leg. Let him miss. Very Matrix-like. You know, Bass, both these guys had a really nice way of looking at their opponents. Masudi said, we're all we're all similar humans, we're just going to do our best. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gustavo, on the other hand, you know, he, he said, we all have to find something to learn from every experience. Oh, you know, I got to say, the nickname El Cobra, uh, the Cobra, is because he's fast, and he is fast. Yeah, it was also actually, believe it or not, because he was too flexible when he first started training. Oof, yeah, that uh, takes a little bit of the power out. If it's too much. <laughs> Gustavo still with the center of the ring here, looking to shut Masudi down. Oh, wow, the speed on that wheel dude, kick. That was a great counter. Oh, that's a big warning there for El Capitan. That was so fast. The action. It's a gamesmanship from Masudi here, dropping the hands momentarily. Push the action. Pick up the, 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 the pants. Yeah, oh, stepping oh. switch kick. And again, he let him miss by lifting his leg. I love that. Physical <laughs> specimen of Denisio Gustavo. Yeah. You know, they say Bassi is virtually unkoable. If that wheel kick hits him, I want to see if that's true. That would be something. <laughs> that would be something. Watch the heads, okay? Watch the heads, okay? Watch the heads, okay? Let's go. Extra little eye poke, Gustavo. I apologized. Oh! Good exchange Whoa. here, both flinging wildly, goading each other on. Whoa! Good head movement from both partners here. Man, big swings from the Saudi. And El Capitan is a little faster with straight punches, Gustavo. We're used to seeing Raider Masudi throw a very high volume of kicks. 
A little bit wary, perhaps, of the fast hands of Benicio Gustavo. Wow, good reflexes by Gustavo. Man, beautiful. You see there, he thought there was going to be a break and straight into the action again. Let go, let go, let go. guard for a second. No, that, uh, that spinning kick you don't want to land on your jaw. <laughs> um, Can you imagine with the heel? Woo. Oof. Last five seconds here. One more chance to seal the round. But there we go again. Wow, very and that matrix is the line. end of the round. <laughs> that was crazy. Bass, what are your initial thoughts on that opening stanza? You know, I if I had to judge, I think at this moment would maybe the Saudi because he came forward more. And since you know we talk about it all the time, your karate yeah. combat, the aggressor, they pick him over the counter fighter. So. Well, let's take a look at some of the replays and see if that holds true. Talk us through these, Bas. All right, that big hand there from Gustavo. Big right hand. Oh, that spinning kick. That was very so close. Fast. So Ooh. fast. Yeah, I mean, we're talking inches here. Three inches further, and that's night-night. Then again, you said that he is almost unkoable. That's what I've been told. Look at that, the way he just lets everything miss. And look at the punch. He does. I mean, this is like a... Like a fight scene in a movie, like it's choreographed. That's how good it is. Check us out, up you get. Let's come down. Let's go. Getting ah. their attention in the corners there. Oh. Referee's going to call them back up. We'd love to see this five rounds, right? That would be great. Oh, yeah. It starts going <laughs> deep, see if those kicks slow down a little bit. So, touch of gloves this time, and we're underway. Second round here. Denisio Gustavo in the white, taking on Raider Masudi in the black. About at 75 kilos. Wow. Oh, nice stomping side kick. And a cheeky little guillotine, perhaps. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the striker's submission. So, Masudi. Wow. People are quiet. Eh? The, yeah, really yeah. gauging. Yeah. Here, a pin drop with the tension <laughs> building as these two look to collide again. They know if something lands. It comes game of cricket. They know if something lands. Uh, They're so quiet. It really does, though. These guys throw with so much attention, so much power. It just takes you know one inch the wrong way. And that one shot is going to put you down. The referee is firing. Look how fast he is. Man, they're complimenting each other, these guys. Bass, are you, are you interested that Masudi's only targeted those kicks at the head? He hasn't really thrown to the body all that much? You know, it would be very smart to do that, what he's doing right now, and a few times, and then suddenly the place with a head kick. Yeah, while sell, looking down. sell it, sell it, sell it, and then bang that's on it. top. Creating a pattern, that's what I always say, and then break the pattern. That's it. Fingers. Gustavo again. Working, half minute. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway down the fight if it goes the distance. That's it, Mr. E getting into this one, and that's a good flurry <laughs> from Gustavo. Almost like looked like he wanted to give a knee there. Go to the body a lot, letting those hands drop down. <laughs> and staying in close this time. They're going to walk Masudi oh. down and he caught him there just behind the ear with the yeah. overhand right. Yeah, that was like almost a oh. wrist in the neck. That is should one of my favorite bunches. Should he have followed up there, Bass? Yeah. It could be a rich hand because he hit it with the side of his wrist. And a rich hand is the only strike, open hand strike that is allowed here at Karate Combo. That is absolutely true. Slip oh. from Masudi. A little cut there. A little cut from, uh, above the right eye of Masudi. Yeah, looking a little bit worse for wear yeah. there. That's a single kick attack counter, see? He's only got 35 seconds to, to pull this round back and do something equally decisive. See more, gentlemen. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Denisio Gustavo! Oh! Absolutely destroys wow. Raider Masudi in the flurry and the finish on the ground. Oh, man! I love it! Again, that right hand, boss. That well, can't be done, man. Wow. <laughs> man. You know, you knew that if somebody was going to connect, I mean, there was so much power behind it at speed. Let's uh, go look at our replays, boss, and see the right hand in the subsequent flurry of strikes. Boom. Oh, that was it. The right. Right to the jaw. 
we see it from a different camera angle there. Here we go. 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 You see? Yeah, right on the button. You want to talk about the flurry? Look at that. Three, three clean straight punches. Useful weapon for Denisio Gustavo. He's getting toweled off in the uh, corner of the pit here. His wife and fellow black belt, actually Pan American champion, Jackie, I'm sure very happy as he raises his hand to the crowd here in the wasteland. We're going to come back to the center of the pit here. Just a nice show of sportsmanship between these two athletes. Yeah, Masoudi has... Wow. That was great too, he fought a great fight. The winner is with Tikio Duty Strikes, the Red Dionisio Cristello. The win is going back to the Dominican Republic with Denisio Gustavo. Congratulations to him, Dominican Marine officer, successful in his fourth fight here at Karate Combat. He's gonna head over to meet our co-host, Leila Annalee. Firstly, thank you. That was a highly entertaining back and forth fight. Um, some interesting gamesmanship there. Tell me, how did you feel in there? Me sentí muy bien. Llevé el plan como lo planeé y lo terminé así, de esa forma. Very good, I'm happy. I follow my plan as I plan it, so it gives the result. And what does the future hold for you? A lot of power in those hands. Mucho poder en esas manos, en el futuro de esos. Le dicen el puño del capitán. The power of the captain. Well, it's the punch capitán. And I can see why. Congratulations. Thank you. A very delighted Denisio Gustavo, and rightly so. Bass, let's take a look at some of the highlights of the entire fight there, of course, ending with that KO. Yeah, the speed of Masoudi is very fast. Oh, that was the big point, that was the finish. And it wasn't though as Masoudi was out of it at all, was he, up until that point. He was very much in it, he was oh, throwing yeah. with a lot of intention, and it just happened to be that Gustavo landed first. Yeah, and it's also the spot where he landed it. It was the same as the Vivarage, the same spot. Boom, right on the button. When you don't expect it, you're simply not ready for the impact, and that's it.